recognize, embrace, transcend. Every person that's walked across this stage and told their story, it wasn't that they didn't have limits. I'm, I'm dear friends with the leaders in this company. Almost every one of them have overcome seemingly unsurmountable limits. I think of my own USANA, what I, you know, when I signed my name to that application, I said no one asked about my limits. I didn't have to say I'd barely graduated from high school, that I was a single mother with five children, that I was a million dollars in debt, that I had no experience in this industry. I didn't know what network marketing was. I didn't have to tell them any of those things. No one asked that. I had tremendous limits. I don't know if I would have done what I did without them. Do you get this? It's okay. Recognize, embrace, transcend. History is replete with examples. Milton was blind. Beethoven was deaf. You know, this beautiful couple up here, I was so mesmerized by them. I did all this research. She lost her arm in a tragic accident back in 1996. She was a professional ballerina. She nearly took her life. Her family, she tried to take her life. Her family rallied and she came back. Her boyfriend left her, but then another man fell in love with her. And one night in 2002, it was a snowy winter evening, under an underpass, she began dancing for him without her arm. She didn't think she could because her balance was off, but he thought she was beautiful. Beautiful. He became her agent and she found this young man who was going to be in the Special Olympics as a cyclist. The man you saw in the video, he lost his leg at the age of four when he fell off a tractor and the leg had to be amputated. He had never danced in his life. They spent the new, next two years practicing every day, every day. They had these limits. They recognized them. They embraced them. They transcended them. There's one fall in the video where he drops her and of course catches her, but in reality, he actually did drop her over a thousand times on the floor. Recognize, embrace, transcend. You know, I thought again of my daughter Lexi. The stories just started coming to me as I sat there. You know, at one point in her life, she'd reached the point where she had to be on oxygen 24 hours a day, and it was during the summer, and I was so worried for her to go back to school, to junior high school, because junior high can be tough. And she had to have an oxygen tank, and they didn't have the little portable ones they have now. She had to pull an oxygen tank. And I wanted to take her to school. In fact, I wanted to go to every class with her. That was not an option. <laughs> she wouldn't allow me to do that. And Charlie wouldn't allow me to. Oh, I can't look down at Charlie, but she wouldn't allow me to do that. And Charlie said, Mom, we'll be okay. And I remember watching them walk up the sidewalk going to the bus stop with Lexi pulling her out oxygen tank, and I just hoped she would be okay. When she came home that afternoon, it hadn't gone okay. Lexi went to her room, and Charlie, I said, what happened? And Charlie said, oh, Mom, some of the boys were calling Lexi tube face. <laughs> You can put that picture up since I'm looking at it. You might as well all look at it. How could anybody <laughs> call that precious little girl Two Face? She's just so beautiful. But Charlie said, Mom, we've got to do this. You can't protect her. We've got to do this. I'll be there with her. We'll be at junior high together. That's Degano Junior High in Encinitas, California. And that's Charlie on your left, Lexi on your right. Well, the next morning, Lexi came down for breakfast, came in for breakfast. She was pulling her oxygen tank, and on that tank, she had put a sweatshirt. She had draped a sweatshirt over the tank, and she tied the arms in front and tied it tight. And she, uh, she loved baseball caps, and so she had taken a baseball cap and put it on top of the regulators on top of the tank. And I said, Lexi, <laughs> what is this? What are you doing here? And she looked at me and said, Mom, it's just going to feel like I'm taking a friend to school with me recognize, embrace, transcend. She did. She absolutely did. <laughs> My beautiful daughter, Charlie. Charlie, I won't make you come up, but I'm going to make you stand up. She's going, thank you. I am going to make you stand up. This girl teaches me every day. She is my miracle. Stand up. 30 years old, given less than 10 years to live, mother. I was with her once when someone asked her if cystic fibrosis was terminal, and she, she looked at him and said, well, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, a terminal is where you go to catch a bus or a plane. <laughs> I heard David Osmond say last night that being diagnosed with MS was the greatest blessing of his life. 
because he now appreciates every step he can take. My daughter has taught me that every breath is precious. Every day is precious. Recognize, embrace, transcend. I wonder about Dr. Wentz. I've watched the Dr. Wentz video. I've thought, you know, what would it have been like to lose your father, to lose your hero when you're just 17 years old? You know, if that had happened to me, I don't know if I would have gone on to school. What if Dr. Wentz hadn't gone on to school? What, he, what if he hadn't shifted his focus because of the health situations, the limitations in his own family, shifted his focus from music to science? Those li supposed limitations have blessed all of our lives. He recognized those limitations. He embraced them. He did something about them. He transcended them. A couple of years ago, I got a letter, an email from Oz Crosby. Now, I don't know if Oz is here either, but all my friends are in USANA, basically. There. And I, I, I love how you lift me. I got a letter from Oz Crosby. He had attended a personal growth workshop with my daughter, Charlie, and her husband, Ryan. I didn't go there, but apparently Charlie was elected sort of group leader. And during one exercise, she floated down. She had done something that was physically impossible for her to do. Charlie does that on a regular basis. She floated down, sort of like we saw Dave and Dr. Wentz the other day. And he said, in his email, he said, Colette, as I watched her float down, I felt like I was looking at an angel. And he went on to tell me a little bit about that experience. And then he had this sentence. It was so powerful, it just hit my heart. I cut it, I pasted it, I've kept it every year in my journal. I write it again so that I can remember it. He said, how special it is when those who have a backdoor exit to showing up for life ignore it and transcend their limits. I loved that. What is holding you back? What is holding you back? Is it really a blessing in disguise? Is it something you need to recognize? embrace and transcend, I'm telling you that is what has happened to almost every leader I know in this company. So it is in a way about no limits, in a way, <laughs> but it's also in realizing that it's in the refiner's fire that we become. That's where we become, is going through the tough times. That's how we become who we are. And that's how our hearts are filled with compassion and empathy. That's why when you come up to me and I look in your eyes and you tear up, I know, you know, I know, I know what you're experiencing. I've seen that same look in Dr. Wentz's eyes. I know he knows. I'm filled with gratitude. I love you, Sana. I love how it's enabled me to become. I love all of you. Convention lifts me up. It fills my heart. It revs me up. With a little Rev 3 also, of course. <laughs> and by the way, one final thing I'm going to end with. That couple that you saw dance, they competed against 7,000 other couples in the uh, national dance competition in China. This was a couple years ago. They came in second. I think that's pretty good. <laughs> I think coming in second isn't that bad. Although, where's Fred? Where's Fred? I want a new award. I think there should be a Miss Congeniality Award. Come on. <laughs> I do love all of you. Thank you. I love you. God bless. Let's let our lives soar. God bless you. <laughs> yes,